actually influence, intoxicate Eve to begin to find fault with a God that is faultless. Verse 5. For God does know that in the day you eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and you shall be as gods. Knowing good and evil, you shall be as what? As gods. But the devil is revealing something. Can I say that? Use the word revealing very carefully. The Bible already says, ye are gods. Can God give birth to goats? We are born of God. We are born of his spirit. So ye are gods. The devil is trying to manipulate the woman to find fault with God. Climax of this whole thing is that she would give in to this deception and manipulation of the mind. Same mind control, mind control. Bodily, action. bodily action. As she got it, she did so, oh, really, God has been hiding the truth from us. Let me not eat the fruit so that my eyes will open. Say, my eyes open. Eyes open. Eyes open means awareness of wrongdoing and sin. That's all. Please clap. You didn't know that. The Bible says she took it and they ate and their eyes were open. You think eyes open doesn't mean their eyes were closed. So it means spiritual reawakening. A consciousness now of wrongdoing, guilt, feeling, deception. That's why from then they started feeling ashamed. The next thing, where would they go? Try to run from God's presence and hide with fig leaves. Say self-effort to end God's favor. Cannot walk. Say when you sin against God, repent and accept. His forgiveness. Many repent, but they don't, they don't really accept his forgiveness. That's the part. They change their mind. They really know, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm not, I don't want it again. But to accept the fact that they are forgiven is a problem. Because they want to feel forgiven. Say, so we don't feel forgiven. We don't feel forgiven. So many things right here for you. Let's conclude here. I want to keep the time. Hallelujah. Let's conclude here. Look at the word. Say your mind and your being. I'm trying to show you exactly how the mind makes you exactly what you are and who you are right now. Say your mind and your being. Read that verse right on the board aloud. Read what is on the board so we uniform aloud. For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Read it again. For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Read it again. For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Read it again. For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Now, stop. Look at me. Put it this way, say, for as I think, for as I think in, in my, my mind. mind. Exactly. So I'm wondering, what have you been thinking of regarding all the issues around your life? This is where the world begins to have transformational impact. Go up, look at me, please, on the board. Look on the board, look on the board, look on the board. What does this verse imply? Number one, a thief is first of all a thief where? A rapist is first of all a rapist where? A good man is first of all a good man where? And all of these people, what is going on in their minds as a result of information they have been exposed to? Your child is 10 years old, you are showing him movies for people who are under, movies that should be meant for adults, and I put it, how do I put it in? People who are under 18, they say this one is not for them. Your child is 10 years old and is watching those movies. What do you think should be building on her mind? Very soon, when she reaches 14, she starts wearing a short skirt. She thinks it's normal. You catch her doing that with him, flock him. Say discipline. And warn. If they are catch you doing this again, I'll put it in order. If they ask why, say I don't know. Because their mind is too small to understand why. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. A team is first of all a team where? A good person begins well. A bad person begins well. Sexual immorality begins well. Okay. Everything we do and have be and have become begins well. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. That means you and me, the way we are right now, is strictly a function of information we have kept in the mind. I wonder how many have been deceived and manipulated by the devil to become the people that they are not. Think about your life. Start the repentance with you. Start changing what you knew was wrong. Let me put it to you this way. What are your beliefs about money? What are your beliefs about relationship? What are your beliefs about marriage? What did you learn from the society about reconciliation and forgiveness? 
What are your thoughts on raising children? What have you been told about breakups, adultery? What have you been told about marriage? What have you, I mean, all these things. Information is competing for your mind. The devil is after your mind. And look, look, please. Satanic systems are highly organized. Make no mistake. Highly organized. And they use symbolisms and any tool possible to communicate an information to you. Go online, begin to download something. Let's say on Vigment, a video. Sometimes when I'm downloading a message, the immoral contents are popping on my screen as adverts. Some of you are right here as Christians, not here of course, perhaps out of this place, because here I make sure that you tell me what you are doing. I'm kidding. Praise God. Why are you using one ex bed on your phone all the time? They are after your mind. They want you to gamble. And you have a problem tithing, but you have no problem giving the money to the devil. When you gamble and they earn it more, what do they do? They open nightclubs and continue with the work of darkness. So you have been found in immorality. The Lord rebukes you in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord rebukes you in Jesus' name. Amen. Repent. These are high kingdom standards. We're not playing here. We are out to transform people and adjust people's lives to the glory of God. Anything you are right now that you don't love, go back and check what you learned. If you are arrogant and people complain you are arrogant and rude, know that you saw something, you believe something wrong. People offended you a lot and you made up your mind right now that, okay, you would deal with anyone. That's a wrong concept. Repent. If you are very nice to people, you learn something good that has influenced that niceness. People don't just wake up and they become nice. Two of us, they have to learn something. Hallelujah. 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 Let's conclude Psalms 19. Psalms 19, verse 7. They will push a dali and talu ragisala gashamadas. You hear this kind of teaching, not devil enters here. I mean, I'm getting blessed. I mean, I'm getting blessed. Psalms 19, verse 7. For the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise. Is simple. The law of the Lord is what? Perfect. What does it do again? Okay, NIV says it refreshes the soul. I want to stay with King James. It gives me more detail meaning. Say the law of the Lord is perfect. In other words, it means that God's word is without flaws. Stop finding errors with the word of God. Stop finding errors with the word of God. It converts the soul. If there is one thing, please look up again. Look up, look up, please look up. The word converts what? The word converts what? So the word can change your thinking. It has an influence on your mind, your emotions, and your will. That's the meaning. The word soul there also means the life, your life, your being. So if you want to see people change, what should you give them? What should you give them? So should. That is why all this good thing of positive thinking cannot change people to become God's righteous people. Never. Foundation for transformation, which has to do with influencing people's mind through information. I feel like saying something right here. Say government. government. There is no government on earth with there is no human government without regulations or legislations to control behavior through us. The word to govern simply means to influence the behavior of people through their minds. With information. Clap. <laughs> to govern means to influence people's behavior with information. Or it means to control the minds of people. To control the minds of people. Let me say it again. To govern means what? To do what? To control, control the minds of people. So when you hear unto us, the child is born to us, the son is given, and the government shall be control. Jesus is coming in with information about his government. Which information must enter your mind to influence your behavior? So take you know what I'm just saying right now, and you understand it, you will never be the same. That's why the Bible says the law of the Lord, the kingdom law, the law of the king is perfect. Ecclesiastes 8 verse 4. Where the law of God is, where his word is, there is power, there is liberty. And verse 5 of that Ecclesiastes says, For where the word of a king is, anyone who keeps his commandments shall be afraid of no evil. So the foundation for liberation from bondage is understanding the word. 
Therefore, as a man thinks in his heart, if you don't want to be anything bad, what should you do? Change what? And give attention to the word of God. Give attention to the study of the word. That is where transformation comes. If there are certain things about your life you don't know, find out what does the word of God say about this thing. And if you get it and you do not, if you get it and uh, if you get the word on it, make up your mind to repent. Make up your mind to do what the word says. It's high time we deal with concepts that are wrong. And the devil shall not manipulate your mind again. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Give the Lord a prayer.